Hey, welcome to another murderful replay. This is a 2v2 pitch battle. Me and Airman versus some random guy, Tiger, and Nodor Beck. So, I am bringing four units of retinue longbows. Well, I guess I should explain how I'm doing this battle first. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to show the battle of me versus Nodor Beck, and then I'm going to show the battle of Airman versus Tiger, and then winner versus winner. So, that's how this is going to go. So, I have four units of Knights Templar, four units of Dismounted English Knights. No, not Dismounted. I have only two Dismounted English Knights. I have four Dismounted, four Armored Swordsmen, and four Dismounted Feudal Knights, and four Red New Long Bowmen, and a General's Bodyguard. Now, I have to, I'm moving over, because he's over here and stuff, and I need to get over here. Uh, Nodor Beck brought four Pavis Crossbow Militia, four Dismounted Feudal Knights, four Venetian Heavies, two Armored Sergeants, uh, Karokio Standard. I think that's how you pronounce it. Eh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, four Knights, Temp Knights Templar, Hospitaller, and a General's Bodyguard. I'll do the army comps for the other beans when it's their turn to battle. So I'm going to keep it in times two speed while I move my army over. Because who, who wants to watch a move, my army move over for 30 seconds? Am I right? Yes. Let's make it 15. Oh well. March my beams. I don't remember what the point scale is for this was. Wait, do you have a... Oh, it shows their swords on their uh, belts. If only the game was newer and it was more detailed, then it would be better. Oops. That was an accident. Alright, so I start gear getting a little weary. C oops. Nope. Stop. His Nodor Beck moves over his Knight's Hospitaller. And they... He moves them over to this side, and I'm like, hmm. And he's moving all of them over to this side, and I'm like, hmm. So, I do see the opening here, but I don't take it. Not yet, at least. Because he doesn't have any cavalry protecting his flank, since he's moving these over here. And he only has his general's bodyguard, and if his general dies, it's kind of GG, because Italian factions have zero morale, for some reason. But, I do see this opening, and I don't take it, because... There is a little thing called crossbowmen annihilate anything charging towards them. So even if I charge this way, at least these two units would be able to get a clear shot straight into them. And then when they come around, they would have lost, like, let's say, let's be generous with them to them and say, like, 20 guys. So, yeah, that would not be fun. But the skirmish battle's starting. I have to... My army's not finished moving yet. Come on. Get into formation. Okay, that was that was beautiful. You guys can start shooting, you know. You don't have to wait for Yeah, there you go. See here, they're start you're shooting. Yeah, now you're shooting. There you go. Good job, guys. He was the shooters. So some of his hospitaler over here got um hit by some of the shooters. And I'm getting even more worried, and I'm sending my cavalry over here. Some of my cavalry over there. I brought an uh, early period general's bodyguard, because I wanted to bring all the things I can. He's like, yes. Yes. And I should be able to win the cavalry fight over here, if none of mine get injured. If a cavalry fight... Okay, this was funny. So, he did a mistake and charge his cavalry straight into longbowmen? You don't do that. That's not something, you, one does not simply charge heavy cavalry, light cavalry even, into longbowmen. Because half of that unit's dead now. 
I think they might they get another lolly off or not. No. Yeah, but over almost half of that unit's dead. They started with 60. From that one charge, almost half of it died. And I'm not winning the skirmishing fight. Because that's just not something that happens. Because the world is angry. Oh! Knocked him out. Wrecked, nerd. I have the coffee of happiness. Um. So, nothing happens for a while, so I'll just speed it up at times two. At, no, times two. There we go. So we can just sit at times two, exchanging shots here. At some point, yep, okay, here we go. So I decided to rush him because I'm not winning the skirmish fight. It's just getting really drawn out. Pointlessly drawn out, mind you. Um, and he doesn't seem to be paying attention to this unit of cavalry. So, it's anti-cav time. Um, I do charge these guys into this one unit. He does notice them. Our noble allies have lost their leader. Without their general, this is the small unit that's flee. almost completely dead. So that's happening. And I want to show you guys what happens when these guys engage. It's really funny. So this is a nice healthy unit of 55 heavy cavalry, right? Let's see what happens if the person that's watching them just realizes now, and then this happens. Bam. All right, let's see how fast those numbers go down. Um, down to 33, 32. Yeah, that just over, below half, charging the infantry into each other. Bam. And that cavalry is dead. They killed, what, 20 guys? A little over 20 dudes. They're gone. They're, they're, just, they're, they are no more. You don't let anti cav get the alpha charge on your cap. That's not safe, my guy. So we have some armored sergeants and uh, Knights Hospitaller fighting two units of Knights Templar. Over here we have some two, two Knights Templar versus two Knights Hospitaller. His skirmishers are all spread out. I was able to put mine directly behind my infantry because they can shoot over your infantry since they're longbows and they're cool. So I knew I've, if I didn't get the cavalry advantage, I'm losing this infantry fight. Because, come on, it's Venice. One of the more broken factions in this game. So I need to have some fancy tactics. And one of those involves charging them in the back with knights. Uh, Templar. And it fits because Knights Templar are known for being reckless. How did the armored sergeants break? Are they just that bad? Maybe. Alright. We'll see how many kills my uh, knights get at the end of this. Alright, there we go. Slam into them. So I'm starting to break his troops. Only half the enemy force remains. Yes. So I'm sure you can tell how the other battle's gonna play out by now. I should have probably done it the other way around. So that, yeah. Look at that. Look at that killing. Look at that killage. It lasts way shorter. It lasts way shorter. It doesn't last nearly as long as this one. Granted, this one kind of stopped lasting long at all. Once I got the cavalry around the edge. See, I pulled off some Venetian heavies. They're just too spread out at this point. And I think these guys get a clear view. I don't remember if they shoot. Yeah, these guys run off with these guys charging into them, and then they make the mistake of going near the longbows. And I think they end up charging the longbows too. 
And then these guys get angry. And they're just like, pew, pew, pew. So now there's a little small force of Venetian troops. I have Knights Templar fighting his general. His general gets charged into the activize some feudal knights, and now they're not going to win. His general, where is his general? There he is. We'll watch him. Watch him die. He's like, oh man. Oh man. He's getting stabbed in the back over and over. I think he's going to die to the feudals. Yep, there we go. The enemy general lies dead. We've sent Where did I put my general? I hope you don't mind the foul language of the beam. Um, so... I would say once these units... He's basically lost. He's got some archers. So, not archers. Some crossbows, aka skirmishers. Left. Um, yeah, I think we should probably go into the next... The other battle. So, see you then, I guess. Okay, so welcome back to the next battle, which is Airman as Russia versus Tiger as Portugal. I'll go over Airman's army first. He has four dismounted Devor, um, a unit of spearmen, three dismounted Drazina, four dismounted Boyer Sons, a general's bodyguard, and four Sars Guard. Uh, on the other hand, Tiger has four musketeers, interesting choice, four dismounted conquistadors, four dismounted feudal knights, and two swordsmen militia. He has a unit of conquistadors for cavalry and four units of knights of Santa Santiago. Santa Tago. So let's get the battle into the, the battle thing. I don't know. This one ends a lot faster than ours, though. Ours being... No to work back in that mine. So moves up musketeers. I didn't watch this battle, so I don't know what happens. Um He's moving up his dismounted Devor. I like these guys because of how versatile they are. They're like longbows, but slightly bit more versatile. Less less archery skill and more melee skill. So They're pretty nice. I just, I don't understand the point of putting your cavalry in a wedge formation when they're sitting there. I never understood the point of this. Like, number one, it looks bad. Number two, infantry wrecks them if they get into a melee. Number, a lot, they get annihilated by arrows because of how thick the line is so I just I don't understand and if you're charging someone you want to be long spread out line so that you can hit the most guys with the, with the shoots I'm gonna sit by the musketeers because they, they sound cooler some arrows flying overhead guys need to reload oh are they removing removing perfect English Yes. Um, moving the guys in the back so that they can reload, I think. Ready? Alright, next dudes coming up. Those guys moving back. These guys are reloaded. They're going to move up in the second line. These guys are going to move back and start reloading. The guys in the front. I sh I maybe. Yep, there we go. Okay, shoot. Now they're going to move back, and these guys are going to move forward and shoot. That's how the musketeers use their firing things. And the archers all just pull back their bows and then fire at the same time. Are they even in range? Yes, they're in range. Okay. Come on, guys. Go. You can see the muskets shooting at him. But 
but I, I see a balancing problem with this fight. Portugal and Venice, two of the most broken factions versus England and Russia, two of the... I guess England's okay. They're not amazing because they don't have crossbows. And Russia's like, to be honest, if you aren't able to spam cav, which this was max six cav, Russia's kind of bad. Because Sarsgaard are their, their strong point, and then they can't bring in too much of them. They kind of just poof. They go kaput. I like watching the musketeers uh, firing away. Oh, looks like he's sending up his, um, or he's covering his flank. Oh, no. Airman is, why is he charging in wedge? What the heck? Why? Wedge is bad. For charging. Like, really bad. Let me guess, he left them in melee in wedge, too. Yep. Actually, nope. It looks like he might have stretched them back out. Okay, good. These musketeers kind of started getting injured a lot. But so did the Devor. And he's not supporting the Sars Guard. Like, even though they're not being supported, they're still winning. Because they're Sars Guard. We need. Okay, he's charging and what? What the heck? This is why this didn't go well for him. This is one of the reasons, at least. He charged in and wedge. I hope he watches this. Watch watches this. He should watch this this and realize that this is a mistake. This is a no no. This right here. This is a no no. These these two guys. This is no no. Although I just realized you can't see my mouse because the thing's not working well, but... Unless it works this time, but I doubt it. Gosh, he didn't support his... With Russia, if you're gonna bring... Mm. You need to rush with... You need to rush with Russia, okay? You could bring some... Uh, like, a couple... Like, at max, three of these guys. Put them behind and rush with Russia. That's that's how you play Russia, usually. That's like the best way. You can't play like a European faction. Like a Western European faction. They just don't work that way. Devor right up in the musketeer's face. Okay. This actually might be pretty good for them, because they can Unleash. Oh, never mind. Conquistadors. Oh, he got one shot off. Now they're getting charged. And what is he doing? He's sending up like two units at a time. This unit is getting annihilated because they're in musketeer range. Uh, there are so many problems with this fight. And Tiger's just taking advantage of every single mistake he makes perfectly. Our ally lies dead. Yep, there's his general enemy. gone. We must help his men avenge him. Wow. Where is his... Did he send his general's bodyguard in? Yeah, he did. Wow. I thought the Sars guard had uh, maces. Oh well. Yep, and now his, his infantry is completely open. Spearmen don't protect from charges. Oh, gosh. This was sad. I see how... Why he had so much stuff left after our fight. Swordsman militia pretty, look pretty cool, though. Even though they're pretty much... Like, worse than case of And, um... I'll, I'll guess I'll go ahead and say this. If you want, I will put my Steam name in the description. And if you want to have a battle against me, um, you could try to friend me on Steam. I normally check fairly often. This is sad, though. 
We could uh, figure out a way to battle. Yeah, look, he's just standing there. They can't fight feudal knights. And now he's going to get a flank charge because Airman wasted all his cavalry. These guys are going to break. Are you sure? Yeah, okay. He's doing it correctly. All right, charge in, like, in the middle. That'll that'll do well. Right here. He's got some more cavalry sending back. Sending back. Great, great, great job. Yep, now his, his entire army is just breaking. And so I guess what we'll do is... After this fight, which is inevitably over now, basically, <laughs> she just did so terribly not well. Like I get he's playing a bad faction, but still, only half the enemy force remains. Like there were a bunch of mistakes. All right, let's go to speed six. Wait for our battle to end because ours did not last. Or lasted remains. much longer. So he got to set up a battle line. They're just like, yeah, get wrecked, nerd. Honestly, I knew I wasn't going to be able to win against almost a full force. Like, he, he hardly lost anything. There goes Nodor Beck's general. This was just pressing. March up longbows. Only intervention by the Almighty, or a military genius can bring us victory from this. Exactly, because our ally sucks. Just kidding. Yeah, but our battle was much more even, so I've kind of just lost at this point. Because freaking Russia did so bad. Like, this is depressing. Like he got some kills over here, but then they supported with infantry and muskets and just... Mm, it was just sad. Oh well. What are you gonna do? So, it's some interesting cavalry tactics. Moving all of them to one flank. Oh, leaving one flank open. Actually, I have like one unit of cavalry left after this fight. Holy crap, that is beautiful. Uh, let me check my graphics really quick. Yeah, everything's not blind. Get blinded. Get blinded. Get not blinded. I think I'm gonna keep it kind of dark. Like, that's good. No, that's not good. Let's just bring it back up to... Because that's what it was at when I got the game. So we'll keep it at 50. Oh gosh. Does he have pretty nice musketeers? Looks like this unit's upgraded. Got upgraded armor. Does, is that the only one? I wasn't paying attention to him. Yeah, that's the only unit that has upgraded armor. Yeah, his, his infantry is like almost untouched. They all started with 90, mind you. He didn't even use these conquistadors. Now, I don't know how they can do damage with those swords. They would not be able to do anything to this armor, but you know what? The game does what the game wants to do. Unless they got, like, they wouldn't be as good at stabbing because they wouldn't be stiff enough. They would bend and get all wobbly. At least I would assume so. These guys have nice swords. Yeah, it's kind of GG. Like, look at the infantry difference. 35 versus 90. Changes in the course of battle, but defeat seems almost certain. Sir, my dude, we're not winning this battle. Dang it, I wish this was scored. Even though if it was scored, they probably won anyways because freaking Russia got zero kills, basically. It got it killed some of the musketeers. 
and a couple guys on the infantry front. Like, hmm. Yeah, and my general's gonna die too. Where is he? Is he already dead? I don't remember if it said. So, our general's dead. He's being sur Oh, no, he's still alive. He's the bravest general. The winner is whoever gets the most kills. Just kidding. The winner is whoever wins. Oh, he's retreating. Really treating. Soldiers still fight. May his infamy follow him. Screw you, general. You're a piece of crap. No one likes you. Oh, they're running down the poor longbowman. Lord preserve us. We've been dealt a stinging defeat today. We have, my dude. Actually, technically, we haven't been dealt a singing defeat. I got the most kills, though. It's between me. Look, look how many. Ki this is how many guys uh, Airman killed. Three hundred fifty-three. Hmm. Are you sure about that? Looks like, uh, Tiger. If you get count the kills plus the captures, he got more kills than me, but. But, 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 but still. Okay, let's look at my kill kills for these guys. Nice Templar, 158 kills. Um, longbows and Feudal Knights, around 50. 50 to 40s. That's like where they got... I should have done better with some of these Knights Templar. Everyone got a ton of kills. That one unit got... That one unit of Knights Templar got 90 kills and 123 captures. Oh well. It was a fun battle. Just wish Airman didn't do so bad. <clears throat> <clears throat> Don't suck. Anyways. Goodbye, Beans. And I'll, I'll just remind you. I'll, I'll put my Steam account in the description. You could be like, I want to fight you. And I'll be like, fight me, bruh. And then I'll probably lose. Oh, well. Goodbye, Beans.